Okay, so what is Fisher's angle? Let us understand by simple by simply understanding the diagram. So this suppose this is our mandible. This is uh, left condyle and right condyle. This is left condyle and this is right condyle. Now suppose mandible is moving toward left side. If mandible moves in lateral direction on the left side, the left condyle will rotate. Okay, and the right condyle that is non-working condyle. The left condyle will be the working condyle and non-working condyle will be the right condyle. So right condyle will produce three type of different movements in three plane. That is sagittal plane, transverse plane and from front side we have frontal plane. Now we will see each of this movement in each plane. Now in sagittal plane we have this movement. This is our articulating eminence condyle moves in this direction. Suppose condyle moves in protrusive direction only then this is the protrusive angle but here condyle is not just protruding it is also going inward that is it is mediotrusive. It is also going inside this sagittal plane. So if this is the protrusive angle condyle don't move in this direction but also moves in medial side inside the sagittal plane. So second plane we will learn is the transverse plane. So what is the movement of the condyle in transverse plane? Now the condyle moves in this direction. The left condyle will rotate and right condyle will move mediotrusively that is in medial direction and the angle as we know made by the motion of non-working condyle with this sagittal plane the angle is called as Bennett angle. Now we will learn what is the Fisher's angle. So when non-working condyle moves medially during the lateral movement of the condyle, it forms an angle with the protrusive motion of the condyle. That is the protrusive movement and the mediotrusive movement of the condyle at the non-working side will produce an angle. And this angle is called as the Fisher's angle. Why this is important? Because the Fisher's angle determines the medial slope of the condylar fossa. So in three dimensional view, Fisher's angle is the angle in the sagittal plane when viewed from the sagittal plane from this side, the angle formed by the mediotrusive path and the protrusive angle, this angle is called as a Fisher's angle. So finally when we see from the sagittal direction we have this protrusive angle this this is the protrusive movement and the condyle goes inward this is the mediotrusive movement. The angle formed by this protrusive and mediotrusive movement this path the angle formed by the protrusive path and mediotrusive path this is called as a Fisher's angle. And Fisher angle determines the medial slope, the medial slope of the condylar fossa.